Hey, Roger, you wrote a book on hacking MFA, hacking multi-factor authentication. If it's hackable, should we be using it? So the short answer is yes. Everybody should use MFA when and where they can. Unfortunately, the best MFA solutions don't work on 2% of the world's websites and services. So most of us already have like multiple MFAs that we're using, one that our bank uses, one that our company may use, maybe another that we're using on Facebook, and we have a ton of passwords. But you should use MFA where you can to protect valuable data. Uh, MFA significantly reduces a large portion of authentication attacks. But I would caution people, I, I run into a lot of people that say that, oh, I'm using MFA, I can't get attacked. Or I've been at a lot of cyber insurance seminars lately, and they're like, that literally for cybersecurity insurance, they now have a litmus question, do you use MFA, yes or no? And if you say no, you don't get insurance. And they look, and I saw another one said, uh, MFA would defeat 99% of all ransomware, and it's not true. And I run into a whole lot of people that think, oh, I'm using MFA, and I'm so much better protected. I can send uh, most people a, a simple local social engineering email that sends you to a fake website, right? It looks like the real website, but it's just a man in the middle attack, and then it's re-pointing you to the real website. That will bypass and get around 95% of today's MFA. So I'm constantly running to people that think, I'm using MFA, and they feel like super secured. No, no, it does reduce many forms of attacks, but it, social engineering wise, they can get around it pretty easily. Unpatched software doesn't care about it. I mean, there's nine different ways that you can be hacked. Uh, you know, again, social engineering, unpatched software, password attack. MFA only helps with part of one of those types of attacks. So it's good. Everybody should use it because it probably, if you use MFA, it probably reduces your risk by a good 30% or something. I'm just making up the number. That means that 70% of the risk is still out there. <laughs>